Welcome to another edition of Ask Happy. I am Abhinav Girdhar, founder of Happy Buy. And today's question comes from John from London, and he wishes to create an app like Deliveroo. For those of you who do not know what Deliveroo is, it's a food delivery app which is very popular in the UK as of now. And he wishes to know: Should he be considering hybrid app development or native app development? John, I'm glad you asked this question because this should be the number one question for every entrepreneur before they start or dive into the app development. Hybrid versus native. Let's first understand what is native app development and what is hybrid app development. Native app development is development when we use the operating systems inherent and create an app based on those operating system technologies. The way it works for Android is. Android gives you the Android SDK, and iOS gives you the iOS SDK, which is set up on the Xcode environment. So you are primarily building these apps on the OS SDKs. Now, when we talk about hybrid app development, you are not using the OS SDKs. Essentially, you are using the web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to recreate it. Now, when we have understood what native app development is and what hybrid app development is. Let's basically think about the pros and cons of each of the two technologies. So in case of native app development, one thing you can definitely be guaranteed about is you'll be getting much more faster responses. So your app would be much more faster. And you would get those faster transitions, smoother transitions. You'll enjoy working on your app and you have much more added security because those apps are built on the OS SDK. Now when we talk about the development in hybrid because we are using web technologies and they are talking to the native OS we need to build those components so sometimes the app could be a tad clunkier sometimes you'll have performance issues in the app but the advantage you get here is you write one single piece of code this can be deployed on both android and ios whereas in native app development you need to have separate developers working on android you need to have separate developers working on ios so their cost are much more so this was a top level overview now let's talk about specific to your question what you are wondering is a food delivery app so you would need two apps one is for the drivers and one is for your customers where they can see the restaurants and then order in my professional opinion you should be going in for the native technologies and i'll tell you why because in your case reliability and the user experience is the key and fast response times that is the reason i would suggest you to go with the native app development for android you can consider kotlin because these days mostly all the android development is happening in kotlin and for ios you can consider swift which is much more superior than objective and guess what john you are in luck we now on happy pie have a food code feature built into happy pie you simply need to add that food code feature and you will get three native awesome apps where you have a driver app for the drivers you have a restaurant app to track the orders and you have a customer facing app so the customer comes in sends an order restaurant gets an order restaurant alerts the driver driver comes in picks up the order and delivers it to the restaurant and everything that's happening in the complete cycle is being tracked by the customer what type of testing is better should she be testing her app on a real device versus an emulator or a simulator to answer your question i think the best approach would be a combination of the two and i'll tell you why because when you test an app on a real device you can basically be 100% sure that this app would work functionally and even aesthetically nice on a customer device as well however due to the fragmentation where android has 80000 odd devices and iphone also has about 7 to 8 different devices it virtually becomes impossible to acquire all these real devices so the idea is very simply to use a combination so when you are initially de developing an app you should use simulators and emulators to test the functionality of an app once the functionality is fully tested and you have done your regression testing you have done your black box testing then you need to do a final level of testing on a real device whichever devices you have on you 
should be your first layer of testing. On top of that, I would suggest you to use tools like AWS Device Farm, where you can leverage the devices, the physical devices on rent for a couple of hours or three hours. You can test those specific apps on an actual device as well. You can also use automation tools like APM. At AppyPy, the approach we follow is, while users are creating an app, we show them a simulator. So whenever whatever changes that they make on their app, that reflects on the simulator on the fly. So as you would have heard, WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. Now, once the app is fully created, we also allow users to test the actual app on the device. So they can do a final level of testing. And once they are 100% satisfied with their app, then they publish it on Google Play and iTunes. So this approach works for us and we call this as a hybrid testing approach and I would recommend you to use the same. If you like this edition, then do remember to share it on social media channels like Facebook, Twitter and Insta and do remember to subscribe to our channel.